Hello everyone, it's Laurel here from Forever Perfect Creations, and as always, I'm a bit behind, um, so I wanted to come on and share two of my projects with you for the month of December for craft supplies for you, chaos for you. Um, I will make sure to put the links in the description box below. I know she had a sale that was ending yesterday, and I think she's going to have another one that's going to be starting, so I just wanted to come on and share two of my projects with you, just to show you guys the amount of different things that she has and how versatile it is and all the different things that you can use in your projects. So I was just walking through the store one day and saw some light switch covers and decided I wanted to alter them and I needed one for my bedroom for my wall just to add to my decor. So this is the first one I made and yes of course it's in purple and I know a lot of my projects are in purple but I work better with purple. Um, so this one I covered with a napkin that had some gorgeous purple flowers on it. And then I covered it in this beautiful lace from Chaos For You. And it has this beautiful um, satin ribbon running through it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful lace. And I put on some of her appliques with her dangle beads. And these are some of her paper flowers and her porcelain flowers that have ribbon in the center and one of her gorgeous butterflies, and I added some bling and some pearl drops to it. And these are some of her gorgeous little metal flowers that she has, and they come in various colors. And just then I added a little stone to the center of them. This is another um, type of flower that she carries, and I added a little bling to the center of that one. And then all of these gorgeous flowers here are all chaos for you. These two beautiful ones, these are like one of my favorite ones that I love to use. And they do come in various colors as well, and you get quite a beautiful bunch of them, along with some more of the paper flowers. And then these, which are really cool, they're like, they're almost like buttercups, they look like to me, buttercup flowers. And those are beautiful, and they have baby iridescence in them. Um, those are just beautiful, so I added those in there and um, put some pearl drops on them just to just to add a little bit to them. Along the um, lace, I did put a little rhinestone on every single um, scallop on the lace. I don't know if you can see that, but they're there. And in between all of these pearls, which are mine, um, so I added those all on. Then at the bottom, I did hang two of her gorgeous dangle laces. Let's see if I can turn it over to show you the back of them. But it's a beautiful, beautiful dangle lace in this beautiful purple. Um, so I did that, add that one on. And then she has a new small peacock one. She has a wide one, but this is a smaller one. And I did spray it with a color and added some little bling to the bottom. Oh my God, I keep getting stuck. Added some bling to the bottom of all of the dangles. And then put on one of her gorgeous um, bling pieces, which has a little dangle piece on it, which I thought was absolutely gorgeous. So this will definitely go on my wall. As you can see, there's nothing on the back to get in my way, and the screws are there. So this is the first one I did, and it is very dimensional. Um, I like to create with dimensions, so I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to hang it, and I will take some pictures of it down and pictures of it hanging on my wall just to um, show it all to you. So it does have a lot of gorgeous dangles, and it is just beautiful. So that is the first one I did, and just to show a little bit of um, diversity and change it up a bit, I also made one for my sister, and she likes the earthy tones, the greens and the beiges and the browns. And so I made this one for a room, and being as she is married, and it is, you know, they share a room, I didn't want to make her a frilly one, so I kind of made a steampunk one for her. And I know the colors aren't coming across on here, and it's weird why, but trust me, they all blend together very well. So a lot of these pieces on here, um, this and this and these and these, are all pieces I made out of porcelain clay. And then I gessoed them and then used inks and stuff to color them. Now this beautiful piece, I know you've seen me use before, is in Julie's shop. And you can color it. I've used my metal mixatives on it and made it silver. Um, you can use your alcohol inks as well to color these and make them different colors. 
So that is up there, and this beautiful lace that you can run a ribbon through is going around it. I did not because, again, I don't want this really frilly. It's uh, more of a steampunk style. And then there is another piece of a gorgeous um, trim that you can get from Julie's shop, along with um, this beautiful filigree butterfly that's behind that piece. And it has a center in it where you can actually add a stone, so it's really beautiful. And then this beautiful horn that has the gears on it that is also in her shop, as well as the clocks. And I believe she has these in different colors. I believe they come in the bronze like this, um, silver, and I want to say gold, I'm not sure. So they do a few different colors. And then I also put a napkin on this one and then use my inks to distress it all. And then as you can see, there's a black and it's got gears and stuff on it. And I just place that on here and place my other things over it. And then below, you will see some more dangle lace. This is one of her laces. And I did color that one with um, a dye that I purchased. I can't think of the name of it offhand. I added, let's get these dangles behind here where they go and then I'll show it to you. I did add some chain right here coming off of this key. I added chain and then I put some um, keys and stuff in a lock on the bottom of it to hang. And then there's another gorgeous lace, uh, uh, dangle lace of hers back here in a chocolate brown, which I just th think this just made this one perfect. Um, it's dark, way darker than it looks on the camera. It looks really white and light, but it really isn't. Um, it's the darker browns and greens and beiges, but um, I absolutely loved the way that one turned out. And I know I, I made two same projects, but I made them completely different just to show you the different things that she carries and that you can use in your projects. And you go if you go over to her shop, she has laces and trims and bling and flowers and filigree and charms. And she just has just about everything you can use in a project. And I tend to use mostly everything of chaos for you when I'm making a project if you as you've seen in the past that's how much stuff that she carries and I just love it all so this is um, two of my projects for the month of December so now I will be starting on January's I'm going to try and be a little more ahead this month um, I'm li a little bit behind it's been a crazy month I had my daughter home from college my grandbaby here for um, Christmas so I've been trying to in between crafting spend a lot of time with them as well so those are my two um, projects for December for KS for you, and I will be back to post more and do some things for January, of course. Um, please go check out Julie's shop, and I will also put a link to all of the other wonderful ladies in KS for you, where you can go over and watch their videos and see the beautiful projects that they've made using um, Julie's um, things that she carries in her shop. You can also catch me on Friday nights. I'm always live on Friday night. Um, we're always having fun and making something different. And you can catch me with Maggie White on Saturday. So we're always kind of be bopping in different places. And we always have um, different people on that you can follow. And those uh, links will be below as well that can teach you so many wonderful things. So I just wanted to come on and share these two projects with you. I hope you like them. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We are always on here having fun and doing different things. And I always have new projects to share. So thank you for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and a very happy, safe, and blessed new year. Um, don't forget to get out there and create something. And I will see you all soon. Bye for now.